Hi everybody, this is Dr. Kara of drkaragubbins.com and the Animal Wisdom Circle. And this is your monthly forecast for the month of June 2017. We're using the Animal Wisdom Oracle cards and, um, and I'm feeling like we're going to be starting to pick up some cards right away here. So I really love looking at the whole month and seeing what's going on with the energy of of the whole month that kind of you know helps give me a framework for for what's going to be coming up what i'm going to be dealing with what i'm going to be looking at what kind of issues what kind of growth potential there is and i look at them um the three cards individually and together i don't do a specific time frame um it's more like i let this the cards tell a story so we're starting with panda and Panda is um, one of the most profoundly peaceful animals I've ever encountered. Um, when I saw them at the San Diego Zoo several years ago, I walked into their exhibit and it was like a palpable feeling of peace. It was like I could feel peace like pressing against me like I was underwater or something. So... Um, what draws my eye on this card is stillness in the moment. The message to people, find the stillness in the moment. The, you know, Zen, it's, the question is, you know, how do I achieve enlightenment? And the answer is, you know, do what you do, bang the drum, wash the dishes, focus on what you're doing. In our busy lives, it's really important to to not get overwhelmed with the busyness, but to find the stillness. And the stillness comes when we focus on our breathing and when we focus on what we're doing. And that's, you know, that's mindfulness. So I feel like there's going to be opportunity here to um, be kind of wigged out and <laughs> bugged out and, and, and get kind of overwhelmed with um, too much going on. And so Panda is just going to remind us that we can, we can always return to our breath. It's something we always have with us. It's, you know, not get only giving us life force, but it's a tool that we can use to recenter ourselves and to find our stillness. And um, the pandas are just masters of stillness and peacefulness and enjoyment of life. So um, that's what strikes me for that. Let's see what else is going on this month. I can't, you know, this is really a, a nice theme that's going here because the frog, the frog's all about staying neutral and, and right action, you know, so not taking action just for the sake of doing something, but only taking action when your intuition tells you to and, and when you're inspired to. So frog is a sit and wait predator. And there's really no reason to do anything until that moment when there is. And when that moment comes, then you act. And that's right action. And in between times, you just remain neutral. That's the equanimity. And I feel like the panda and the frog really complement each other because of that quality of um, peacefulness, neutrality, not being busy, just finding that stillness. And and frog always reminds us to trust our intuition as well. And um, I've been really carrying frog with me a lot since our conversation in the animal wisdom circle because of this very thing of, um, you know, so, so many times I find myself just doing, doing, doing and not checking in and going, is this the right time for this? Is this the right action for me to be taking? So frog has kind of, I feel like, been on my shoulder a lot over the last several months since we met in the animal wisdom circle and then our third card is the hummingbird and the hummingbird is about savoring the sweetness of life and so these cards together are saying that june is really a time to watch out you know the the energy i hope is bringing um, a lot of peacefulness a lot of calmness a lot of stillness but again, I feel like there's, it's like this, um, how you have a heads up, <laughs> you know, the, that these are your values, because it, it may be hard to find that. So um, all together, these three cards are really saying, stay in the moment, trust your intuition, only act when it's time to act, 
and savor the moment, savor the sweetness of life. Take that time to be aware of what's going on, enjoy it, appreciate it. It, it is fleeting, you know. Um, dragonfly is similar to a hummingbird in that dragonfly reminds us that life is fleeting, it moves quickly, so really take advantage of it, be grateful for it. And, and the hummingbird savoring the sweetness of life is a similar kind of an energy. So my, you know, my challenge for myself and for all of us is that we hold panda frog and hummingbird with us this month. I think it, it could be um, a real bumpy kind of a ride where we're going to be tested and challenged to regain our equanimity, to regain our stillness, to really savor those fleeting moments that um, happen in passing and just anchor them in our lives. I think there's going to be a lot of sweetness this month and um, and also a lot of busyness. And I think the busyness can pull us off track. So panda, frog, and hummingbird, peace, stillness, sweetness. Um, it, it It is shaping up to be a very lovely month and it's a, a real departure from the months leading up to June where things have been a little bit more confrontational. And this is much more about taking some time and chilling out and and trusting your intuition and you know we don't really access our intuition until we slow down a lot of the time so um, that slowing down and finding the stillness and remaining neutral don't get caught up in the busyness is going to help your intuition to be available to you so um, I, I love the energy of these three cards together, and, and I can't wait to see how this all plays out, if it is nutty and crazy, or if it is just really a very peaceful, quiet, um, introspective kind of a time, you know, a more being than doing time. So um, leave a comment below as you go through the month and check back in. I'd love to hear how this is playing out for you. I'm definitely going to be watching the um, the way this plays out for me this month and if something else is striking you about the cards or um, you're picking up something please leave a comment about it I always love to hear what the cards are saying to you as well um, it's it's always nice to get that richness of that whole experience because they talk to each one of us through us so we can have a little bit of a different perspective and that's just fantastic so um, I hope this is helpful for you to frame June for how it goes for you and what your reminders are. If you like the video, please click like. And if you're not yet subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of these forecasts. And I have all kinds of other training videos about intuition and talking to animals and all kinds of great stuff that you won't want to miss out on. So um, have a beautiful month and please check back in and, and let me know how it's going.